now have crews on the ground tracking this severe weather. We're in the Tempe area right now and we have Will Pitts out there. Will, it looks pretty nasty where you are. Yeah, it, it's pretty nasty, and believe me, it was uh, a little nastier uh, depending on how you want to define it just a couple of minutes ago. We uh, went through that head wall of dust, and we're now into the actual storm. Uh, when we crossed in through that uh, dust storm, there were dust devils all over the place. There's trash blowing all over the 202, and now we're at the one, uh, 202 and Scottsdale Road where we've got rain coming down very, very heavily and also a lot of wind. You can actually see, I'm not sure if you can see through all of this rain, but it is actually blowing along the road in sheets uh, in front of me and to the side of me. It's a little hard to see, especially since we're going under an, an, an overpass right now, but there we go. The rain's back again. You can see the visibility is dropping quite a bit. People thankfully driving very, very slowly uh, on the 202, just trying to get through this because the visibility is down so far. I'm at, uh, let me see, the 202 at about Mill Avenue, and I can't even see a mountain. In fact, I can't see Mill Avenue. Uh, it's, it's coming down pretty heavily through here. So that uh, part of the storm, as Lindsay mentioned, that was hitting Mesa is uh, apparently dry, floating right over the 202, the 101, and Tempe right now. Again, slow going through this entire area. We've got heavy, heavy rain coming down, uh, blowing sideways in some places. The wind has not let up in the least since the dust storm rolled down. Uh, in fact, if anything, it's actually gotten a little worse, guys. Willer, are you seeing lightning out there? No, you know, I haven't seen any lightning at all, which uh, is a little unusual with some of these storms. I kind of expected with, uh, you know, a dust storm and a big monsoon storm that we have rolled through here in the afternoon, you guys know it usually carries a little bit of lightning, and I haven't actually seen any of that. Oh, never mind. As I said that, there's one <laughs> there that pops go. right to my left. <laughs> That's so why I asked. There's our first I, lightning strike of the trip. I, I knew it was inevitable. Yeah, now, Will, how are the drivers reacting to this? They, it, don't it don't be... ask me if there's anything else that's going to happen, Mark. It's scary. <laughs> Have you seen a tornado, Will? Have you seen that? <laughs> We're kidding. How are the drivers reacting to this, though? Because, you know, it can be <laughs> it can be hit or miss, I think, sometimes. You know, some drivers seem to be extra cautious and then some act like nothing is happening at all. You know, we're all moving at about uh, 20 miles an hour, which is actually pretty good. And you're right. I haven't seen anybody who's driving like it's a beautiful sunny day outside, but I also haven't seen anybody that's absolutely frozen in fear either. So you can see the, the stoplights going ahead of us uh, for a long ways. And a lot of that is just rush hour traffic. I mean, it's 430 in Tempe. This stretch of road is usually busy, but it's all obviously a lot slower. We've got a lot more uh, space in between. I think everybody's kind of paying attention to the fact that this rain is coming down very hard. They know they just drove through a big dust storm to get here. It's a little more than your typical uh, thunderstorm. So so far, everybody's doing all right. OK, well, it's safe to say, though, that I think if you're expecting someone to be home at a certain time, they might be a little bit delayed in this area. Right. And we're just told now that Sky Harbor is seeing a lot of delays. Yeah, 80 flights have been delayed at Sky Harbor because of this storm. Also, uh, SRP tells us that 30,000 customers in the Southeast Valley are without power right now. Yeah, I was reading the tweet from Sky Harbor. A lot of the flights are actually being diverted. So flights that are in the air right now are either circling up above or being diverted to other airports. And so definitely check those boards if you are heading to the airport, because as uh, Karibe mentioned, 80 flights delayed right now. And just looking at that picture on the bottom left of your screen, the rain coming down, we all know that the water accumulates so quickly on the valley freeways here. So you really need to take it slowly because you hit that little area of ponding yeah. and that can just send your car spin. Yeah. And a lot of times, you know, since we haven't had a lot of rain, um, we've got a lot of, you know, slick oil that's still on the sure. surface of the freeway. So a lot of times that first heavy storm Probably. can be the most dangerous because you've got all that grease that's still on there. And so it's really easy to spin out of control if you are, you know, encountering this rain at a high speed or maybe you take a uh, you know, a sharp curve or something. So hopefully folks are being careful out there. So far right now where Will is on the 202 near Scottsdale, it looks pretty good. He said they're going about 20 miles an hour or so. Um, so that is good news. Will, I did want to ask you, have you seen any accidents on the freeway yet? Anybody pulled over to the side? 
there's been a couple of people pulled off to the side, uh, not so much with uh, accidents, but just, I think, pulled over to the side trying to wait this out. You can see how much is coming through right now and how much rain is coming down. It's uh, definitely starting to sheet on the freeway right now. Uh, so no, no accidents right now. Everybody's driving fairly safely, but uh, I don't know that that's going to stick around if uh, we continue to have this. Yeah, uh, you're, you're headed east, right, Will? Yes, yeah, so we're headed into uh, Mesa right now. Um, 202 in McClintock. We're passing McClintock right now. Right, I, and I think Lindsay said, uh, and maybe we can open up Lindsay's mic as well. I think she said a few minutes ago that one of those cells or part of that, the two storms that converged, it was right over the Tempe Mesa area. So it looks like you're probably headed right into it, Will. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Actually, it's raining harder right now in Tempe. And I can definitely tell it's gotten a lot heavier. Right. Go ahead, Lindsay. I'm sorry. Yeah, so the heaviest of the rain is falling from Scottsdale into Salt River, Tempe as well. And now Mesa is starting to lighten up just a little bit. So as you travel east, Will, uh, you'll start to see the rainfall rates decrease because that storm is moving west at 20 toward downtown Phoenix and you're moving east and through it. And once you hit Mesa, those rainfall rates will start to go down.